Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to another video on the channel. Today we have the second episode of the Tottenham career mode. Uh, the first episode went out yesterday or today, same day, whatever you want to call it, because it went out at 12 o'clock. Um, and we lost two and won one, not saying what the games were. Uh, you know what the games were, we lost two and won one, we played pre-season as well. Um, but this episode, we're starting off in the Carabao Cup second round against Portsmouth. Uh, I made a different team for this, you know, because it's only Portsmouth. Uh, I'm simulating it as well, as it's at home. Uh, and we won 3-0, and we advanced into the third round of the Carabao Cup. Um, find out who we'll face, I don't know, probably next episode. This game against Watford, I have put it on Legendary, and we're going straight in with the first team uh, against Watford. A game we lost in real life. Uh, here we have Warrior, we'll passing around the back, and silly play, and Andre Gray nearly slips in a 1-0 lead in the 12th minute against us. Uh... Good goalkeeping by Hugo Lloris. Don't know what Alder was doing, uh, but Lloris keeping us in the game. A great save. Andre Gray playing really well in real, in real life at the moment. Four goals in two games. Uh, they have a corner here, and Kapu gets the goal against his former club. Um, they were saying before this game how he's playing really bad, but Kapu against his former club scores from the corner in the 13th minute, and it is 1-0 Watford. We have work to do here. Kane is on the ball. Kane turns, shoots, and a great save by Ben Foster, one of the most underrated goalkeepers in the league. Uh, he went down with West Brom last year, but we have a corner here with Kieran Trippier whipped in into Deli Alley, and it's knocked out for a throw-in for us, um, and nothing came from the throw-in. Uh, Trippier here on the ball again into Lucas. Lucas out to Harry Kane. Harry Kane down the left-hand side against Eunice Cabal, another former Tottenham player, into Deli Alley, and another great save by Ben Foster. No, there's actually a penalty. I've only just realised in the editing. I've watched this so many times, and there's actually a penalty here um, for us. Decore conceding the penalty. Uh, let's take a look at what happened. As Deli Ali shoots, he tackles him. Yes, that's a definite penalty. Uh, and up steps Harry Kane. I'm using this because penalties this year seem to have changed. And, of course, Kane gets the goal. Uh, to make it 1-0, Harry Kane. Uh Doing quite well in real life over a dry patch, but Vertonghen back to Larissa in the 40th minute. Straight out to Roberto Pereira. Into Decor, right out to Andre Gray. Andre Gray into Delafeo. He turns everybody. Vertonghen can't do nothing. Dembele trying to tackle Yamat back to Delafeo. Delafeo into Andre Gray, and it's 2 1 Watford. Legendary is proving to be a hard time for us. Um. I need to get to grips at the moment because we lost two in the last episode. I'll put a link in the description to that if you want to watch it. Um, but, you know, second half now. Andre Gray back on the ball into Delafeo out to Akaka. Uh, Danny Rose trying to tackle him. Akaka shoots and a great save by the French number one, Hugo Lloris. Having a good game here at the moment. Uh, and a corner saved by Lloris. Pereira out to Capasale. Who scored in real life against us? Cabasale, uh, Pereira, out on this left hand side. All of Real trying to do his best. Out, and then Sissoko getting the ball away. And Winks, Sissoko and Winks have both come on, I believe. I'm not really sure. Deli Ali can't get the ball played over to Ericsson. But now we have Sissoko on the ball here. 10 minutes, just over 10 minutes remaining. Lucas on his right hand side. What can he do here? Cutting in into Sissoko, out to Kane, Ericsson. Back to Kane. Goal! Surely. No. Ben Foster again pulling out a great save to keep Watford 2-1 ahead. Andre Gray coming off, which was a good sign for me. Uh, whipped in straight into the hands of the Englishman. And now we have De Feo picking it here, picking it up here just after the halfway line. Skipping past everybody. Uh, looking to get a shot off. He does! And it's 3-1 here to Watford. Um, and that kills the game off, definitely. Um... Great goal by De La Feo. You ran for everybody. I don't know what my defending was. It was absolutely shocking. Uh, it should have done a lot, lot better. Uh, you ran for everybody. I tried to get a tackle off here with Alderweireld. Completely missed. Uh, and Trippier looked like I tried sliding in, but that would that would spell the end of the game for us. We did have one more chance here with Kane uh, coming in and then shooting, and it hits the post, uh, and it went out for a goal kick, and that would be the end of the game. Watford picking up the victory. Here against us, uh, three losses out of the first four games so far. Uh, Watford 
beat us in our life and beat us in this career. Uh, but the man of the match for this game, uh, to be honest, everyone played quite well. But the man of the match that I'm giving it to is the goal scorer of the penalty, number 10, Harry Kane. Um, so the second game now. Uh, it is a tough game coming up against Liverpool. So just quick look at the table. We are 17th, just below Fulham. May not the 14th, uh, 12th and 10th for Chelsea and Arsenal. Uh, Wolves are actually second. Uh, so this league have gone downhill for like some of the bigger teams, as he is. Not the only one, uh, but I thought I would change up uh, a bit of the first team going into this game against Liverpool. A game I went to in real life. A game we lost in real life. Uh, again. So, uh, this game I did put on world class. That is the team for today. Uh, today's game. This game. Uh, but yeah, second game at the New Tottenham Stadium. And we're off and running here with Sissoko in the middle. Playing as Ericsson. Playing through Deli Alley. Turns. Ball roll. And he hits the post, it beats Mignolet in goal, hitting the post. And then Robertson clears the ball out to Mane, but here we're back again with Ericsson. Deli Ali should have scored that. Uh, Son here on the left-hand side, crossing it into Lamella, who volleys it. And there's an absolute scuffer of a shot. Should have went in. Uh, should have done something better, really, Lamella. But Firmino here, uh, going past everybody. Out to Mane, Mane cuts back, and all the world intercepts, goes into Milner. And a good save by Hugo Lloris. Uh, with a free kick here, Alderweireld playing it to Vertonghen. Uh, just passes it to Sissoko. Um, and Eriksen here looks, fires a shot, deflected, and it goes past. Same on Mignolet in goal. And it is 1 0 to Tottenham. Mignolet conceding uh, against Eriksen. Why Mignolet is playing, I don't know. I don't know? I don't know. Uh, but the deflection. Unlucky here from Matip, um, but that would be 1-0 to Tottenham. Here in the second half, Son loses out the ball, out to Salah. Firmino to Alexander-Arnold, Henderson, Firmino skips past, Alderweireld shoots, and it goes into the back of the net, and that would be 1-1 here at the new Tottenham Stadium. Firmino going over to celebrate with Klopp. I, I was fuming in my defending here when I was filming this. Um, Shouldn't have conceded that. Good piece of skill um, by Firmino to take it round all of the world. Um, and then just to outside of the boot uh, into the top left-hand corner. But a disaster wouldn't stop there. All of the world being intercepted. Mane into Fabinho. Back out to Mane. Crossed in. Meets Mohamed Salah. And it was just wide in the 60th minute. Uh, absolute carnage here at the moment. Eriksen on the ball. Lines up a shot. Into Mignolet's hands. Uh, 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 just Mignolet kicking it out to one yard. Uh, tough fixture at the moment. Uh, that's my dog in the background. Uh, Mane on the ball here down this left hand side. Deli Alley tracking back. Crossed in. Deflected Lalana off Lloris. And into the net. And it was 2 1 Liverpool. At this, at this point, I remember putting my head into my hands and thinking, how the fuck has he just scored that? Um, I just had to make some changes. Uh, Lamella was coming off and Lucas was coming on. Get a bit of pace on the wings uh, to try and secure us a victory. Now I've noticed that ginger lad is in every single fan base in the world. Um, but ridiculous defending, ridiculous goalkeeping, allowing Lana to get the goal. Um, and I did go attacking to try and get us the victory, but Firmino here on the ball. Uh, out to Sadia Mane, into Wanyaldum, into Salah, and devastation hit us again. 3 1 to a Merseyside team. Uh, undefeated in this league, uh, and on uh, to a victory in here. I'm messing about with all the tactics, not really realising what's going on, and Salah gets the ball. And it goes in to make it 4 1, um, a flattering scoreline, uh, but 4 1 to Liverpool. It wasn't good momentum for the series or for the next game, which is against um, Inter Milan. Salah scoring, and that would spell the end of the game. Kane here picks up the ball, has a shot out for a corner. Uh, but it was just absolutely battered in this game. I was uh, calling for the short corner here. Lucas whipping the ball in, looking for some consolation. 
nearly running off of Warriors head, a great save by Mignolet. Um, in another corner, I'm sure Lucas cross deflected and is headed out. And, and again, short corner, crossed in, and another head kick. Nearly, nearly getting us a goal to make it 4 2. And then Aurea just having a shot. And that would spell the end of the game. Um, Liverpool played really well there. Uh, we just didn't get anything going in the second half. And Liverpool still undefeated. Klopp getting a victory over me. A devastating result at the new stadium. Um, all the players, no one really had a standout performance. Um, maybe Kane, Aurea played quite well. But if I had to pick a man of the match based off of the whole game, um, I'm probably going to go with 23 Ericsson just because he was creative in the midfield. Um, and now, the next game, we are into the Champions League against Inter Milan. It felt good hearing that in this Champions League graphic behind me. I thought I'd do a press conference to make it somewhat realistic, motivating the team to get the victory. A bit of training before this game. Now, this game's at home. Um, uh, it was a way in real life. We lost it. Um, but the title probably gives this result away. Um... I changed it up, went for three at the back, so that's the team. Um, three at the back, slash five at the back. So yeah, I went for three at the back, slash five at the back, for more attacking options going forward, which means Sanchez played. Um, and his first thing, gives the ball away. Ja Mario here on the ball, out to Kandreva. Um, and Kandreva whipping the ball in for Perisic's header. And it's 1-0 in the eighth minute to the Italian team. And... From that point, I knew that this game wasn't going to be nice to me, and it was going to be absolute hell, and I had to play out of my skin to pick up a result. Um, so Kane turned the ball into Deli Alley, out to Ericsson, had a shot, and it's just wide. Hand down, which had it covered, had it covered anyway. Um, again, Ericsson here on the ball, looking for another shot, and Sonny got his foot on it in an offside position. Um, the Vencino here on the ball. Um, for Inter Milan, I don't know that is for Salco on loan from Atletico Madrid. Current European Europa League holders, Trippier can't get a ball away. Vincino gets the goal. I'm sitting here and I'm actually fuming because I don't know what was going on. No, Vincino didn't get the goal. The card he got the goal. Um, Twenty minutes in and we're already two 0 down against Inter Milan. Brozovic here on the ball out to Perisic to the Croatian winners. And a crossbar, the cross, oh my god, what the fuck was I doing? The crossbar rattled by that shot out to Danny Rose. Danny Rose trying to get past for Salco, can't. Candreva picks up the ball. Jal Mario, who was on the West Ham, is out for a corner. Oh, what was I actually thinking? I need to step it up in the next episode. Dele Alli clearing it no into Luis's hands. Uh, a chance before half time here, Kane. On the ball into Deli Alley, Deli Alley out to Kim Trippier, Trippier out to Sun inside Trippier and blocked and cleared away in the end by the Inter Milan defence. Into the second half, Vincina out to Brozovic, Dejal Mario, Mario out to Perisic into a Cardi and it spelt disaster. You know, I thought that was a goal, that's why I said that, but the Reese now, no, the Cardi picks it back up uh, and the ball. Into Luis's hands. Nope. Went out for a corner. Oh my god. This game's AIDS. It's only been out for a day. Nearly two days. A corner here. Into Perisic. Overhead kick. And into Luis's not so safe hands. Uh, Borja Valera here coming on as a sub. Uh, skipping past for Tongan on the ball. Crossed in. And Brozovic meets the ball. And makes it 3-0. With 20 minutes to go. Now you know why I call it Champions League disaster because I have been embarrassed here by Inter Milan. I know this episode is realistic in terms of real life. I lost all three games, but the score lines are so flattering. Maybe not Watford, but the Liverpool game. In this game, yes. Uh, but you know, something we're going to have to move on from. Uh, Kane picking up the ball, passing it out to Lucas. Lucas inside, shot and saved by Handanovic. Um, at this point, I just didn't know what to do. I just wanted wanted a goal at least, or to try and pull a point back, obviously. Yeah, with Barcelona in the group as well. 
I've put myself in the same situation as Royal Life at the moment. Um, having to win against Barcelona, which isn't going to be easy. Crossed in, Kane meets it. And we got that goal that I was just talking about. Um, Kane scoring. He's the only one that's actually putting in decent performances week in, week out. Or game in, game out in this. Um, and yeah, just disappointing result. Kite on the ball here. A uh, couple of step overs and saved by the race. Um, it did go out for a corner, I believe. No, but for the first game of the Champions League at the new stadium, it just warranted what I wanted. Um, Asamo here on the left hand side. No, no cross because it's full time. Um, just an all round shit performance in this episode. Um, we need to pick ourselves up in the next episode. Um, Kane obviously got the goal, so the goal difference, if it's needed in the end, won't be as bad. It could benefit us, but minus two goal difference. Um, four losses, one win in the league now. Pre-season game, uh, the final we won. At that point, I thought it was good. Overall, man of the matches. It's got to go to the goalkeeper, Hugo Lloris, because if it's, they could have had so many more opportunities to score. Um, but Luis saved them with 9 or 10 saves. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, like the video, comment stipulations, and anything I should do in the career. Subscribe to the channel. Um, other than that, that's it from me. We'll see you guys later. Goodbye.